Hey guys, this is uh, Hydra uh, from x -Trades, back with another video. And in this video, I'm just going to be going over, um, it's just going to be like a weekly review video, just going to go through SPY, QQQ, and then a couple of tickers that, um, the most popular tickers that were requested. And then I'm also going to be going over some of the tickers that I think are best setting up um, for the potentially uh, big moves in the coming weeks and months. So first, I'm just going to go over um, the indexes. So first, we'll take a look at um, QQQ. So currently, QQQ is not doing too much, right? We're just we have a, a little uptrend forming, um, and we're currently test testing that we're at the bottom of the uptrend, uh, or bottom of the uptrend uptrending trend line. Then this would be like the channel. Um, but yeah, right now we're pretty much trying to build an uptrend here. Um, and we're just slowly chopping up, slowly grinding up higher. But right now we're at the bottom of the trend line, and if we if we break this uh, two seventy nine two eighty level, then there's a chance that we could potentially go back a lot lower and potentially make new lows. So this two seventy nine two eighty level is very important, and we want to make sure that we're holding that or for the bulls at least. The bears want to see this break and then flush hard, right? So those are that's. Yeah, that's what the one possibility that can we that one possibility that we can see in the coming weeks, and then for the um for the long side we want to see, we want to see this key level to get taken out. So two ninety three, if we can take this level out, there's a good chance that, uh, we could rally a lot further, and there there could be a lot more upside potential. But those are the two cases that, um. Those are the two scenarios that can happen. So we lose, we lose this 279 level, we can go a lot lower, potentially retest the lows. We break out, we get above that 293 level, and there's a good chance that we could see a much larger rally. So yeah, that's pretty much it for QQQ. And for SPY, it's uh, second the charts loading. So yeah, for SPY, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, we also have uh, so for spy. There's a very clear um, downtrending, uh, downtrend trend line forming, right? And it's been forming since the start of 2022. And so far, we haven't been able to break through that. And if we do break through that, there's a good chance that um, this bear market could be over. Because again, this trend line's been trending for almost a year now, right? So if we can get above this trend line, there's a good chance. Um, the bear market is over and we can actually start a new uptrend and uh, yeah currently there has been a uptrend starting for like the there has been an uptrend for like the last three months so since october since we bottomed we've been build we have been building a pretty nice uptrend but currently we're below the trend so or we're, we could be breaking this uptrend especially if we lose this 391 level um there's a good chance that uh, we could go a lot lower again. Same as QQQ, if we lose this 391 level, there's a good chance that we could retest the lows. But overall, SPY is holding up much better compared to the QQQ for now. But um, yes, yeah, same thing for the upside. So we want to make sure that we want to see a break above this trend line. Um, and if we do that, there's a good chance that we could rally much further. And I'm just going to go over a couple of tickers that you guys requested. Um, first being Apple. So for Apple, there's not too much going on right now. Um, this entire year has been pretty choppy for Apple, right? It's just going up and down, up and down, super choppy action. Uh, but recently we've been uh, tightening up here and um, yeah, there's like a triangle forming here. So we're tightening up, getting tighter and tighter. So I'm expecting uh, a big move to come from Apple within like the next couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, we wanna see uh, if either of these trend lines, if the price can break either of these trend lines in either direction, there's likely that uh, we could see a big move from it. So yeah, we break this. Uh, if we break this 140 level, there's a good chance we could go a lot lower. And same thing for the upside. If we break with this 148 level, there's a chance that uh, we could go a lot higher, right? So those are the two scenarios that we have to look out for Apple. And that, yeah, that's pretty much it for Apple. Uh, next, Microsoft.
So Microsoft is holding, um, it's holding, um, it's been downtrending um, all year long uh, where Apple was going sideways. So Microsoft's actually a bit weaker, but it's actually starting to form a nice base here. So um, yeah, we bought them in uh, November and now we've just been going sideways for a while now. And um, yeah, Microsoft doesn't look too bad, right? So this key level is 250 or 251. If we can break that and successfully hold for more than a couple of days, like here we broke it, but we came back down pretty quick, right? So you want to see a break and hold and then continue higher. And there's a good chance that uh, Microsoft can go a lot higher. So there's also a little bull flag forming here for Microsoft. So a little bull flag forming. And if we can take this bull flag out, take this 251 level out again, that I think there's a very good chance that Microsoft can see higher prices. And um, a good target level would be 268 for my yeah 268 269 um next ticker we'll go over meta so this stock's obviously a lot weaker than uh, microsoft and apple right just been gap down after gap down first gap down here another gap down here now it's trying to uh trying to get a gap fill but overall this stock is just super weak and it's not a stock that you want to be um, looking at right now at least for the long side if anything this would be a possible short or just uh, I personally won't just wouldn't touch this stock um, I think there's better stocks to trade out there like Microsoft Microsoft has a super clean setup there's just no setup here for um, Meta it's just chucking around now um, yeah no clear resistance or support level I would say th this is a pretty good level if we can get above 123 then Maybe there's a chance we get back to 172, but again, this is just uh, really choppy, right? Um, this is a chart that I personally would want to avoid, but here are the key levels for, um, yeah, Meta. Next up, Amazon. So Amazon's been extremely weak as well. Um, yeah, it's just been downtrending for since August. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say about Amazon. It's one of the weaker stocks compared to Microsoft and Apple. It's actually weaker than uh, Meta right now too. It's still very close to like it's all time or it's 52 week lows. And um, yeah, right now it's not doing too much here. If this 88 level breaks, then it would be a good short. But um, yeah, I wouldn't even try to long this stock just because it's been so weak. Um, yeah, I, I just, just, there's a lot of better stocks to try going um, on the, <clears throat> try going to, try buying for the long side. Um, yeah, this, this stock just, it's way too weak for me and it would be a hard pass. But if anything, I would, look, I would be looking to um, short this if it gets below that 88 level or gets below that, uh, yeah, th this day is low, so that's 87.5. So that would be a good short entry. Next up, Tesla. So Tesla um, had a good Friday. It was up 3.23% on the day when most stocks were down. So Tesla was showing some relative strength on this day, but uh, Tesla is also still pretty weak. Um, yeah, this stock, and these are the key levels for Tesla. There's a good chance that we could see 151. 151 is a major um, it's a major support level from for Tesla uh, from a while ago. Let me show you on the weekly chart. Yeah, so 151 was a major resistance level before, and this could be a major support level now, but that's an important level that we want to look out for. And Tesla, again, this is also just a major downtrend until we get above this uh, upper trend line. Um, there's just <clears throat> It's just not worth longing Tesla unless you're looking for like a reversal play, but um, it's just a very weak stock right now, similar to Amazon, and uh, something that I just wouldn't touch. But um, yeah, here are the key levels for Tesla. Next up is uh, Netflix. So Netflix is actually one of the strongest stocks here. Um, it's been, um, so it bottomed out all the way in like May, June to June time, and now it's, and then it was, uh, consolidating for quite some time almost uh, three four months 
it was just building a base and then it finally got a really nice breakout and now it's just getting tighter and tighter and it's building a really uh, long flag here and uh, yeah 331 is the ma major resistance level and i think we're gonna hit hit that very soon and um, yeah we'll see what happens when we get to that level if we consolidate and then build up higher then the next target would be 396 or if we reject then uh, there's a good chance that we could come back to um, the lower trend line or we could if, if we if we end up dumping hard then we can even revisit this 247 level but overall Netflix is uptrending right now and it's been yeah it's been showing a lot of strength recently and it's 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 one of the stocks that's been acting the best um, but yeah that's pretty much it for Netflix um, and a couple other stocks that I think are acting really well right now is first being Celsius so this stock is at all-time highs while a lot of other stocks are like struggling so this stock obviously has a lot going for it there's many er, investors have to be buying the stock up for this stock to be near all-time highs right when the entire market is crumbling apart so this stock obviously has something good going on for it and it's a stock that you want to pay attention to and um yeah overall it, it's a very choppy stock but uh it's hard to trade but it's been setting up pretty nicely here. So around this 119 level could be a good breakout play and it could go a lot further from here. And it's a stock that, yeah, I'm just paying attention to right now. Building a very nice uptrend. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Celsius. Another stock that's been acting well is ASL. So this stock also, um, almost near all-time highs and this stock's also been acting really well um it had a, a nice volume day uh just uh, this week and it's been it's finally breaking this uh, big base that we've been building up for like almost yeah over a year now um so this was the base really nice weekly chart so it's trying to break out here and then formed a little flag and then last week uh, we we were finally able to break out and there's a good chance that um, this likely continues um, further up so yeah re um, here's like the cup and this is like the handle and then we were breaking out <coughs> last week and we also had nice volume on this candle so that that's also a positive but yeah overall the stock looks really good and I think it has a lot of potential um, in the coming months yeah and then the last stock we'll go over is uh, Chewy. So this stock is also another growth stock that has been uh, basically beat down since uh, since yeah, since 21. But this stock's actually starting to show, show, show some relative strength lately. Um, yeah. So it's tested this, uh, there's a good chance that we could see a pretty nice move if we can get above this 40, 45.6 uh, level. So yeah, it's been acting really nice here and this is just a really nice setup. Um, it's been consolidating for almost a couple weeks now. And if we can get above this 45.66 level, there's a good chance that we could uh, break out a lot higher and potentially go all the way up to this 52 level and uh, it could be a really good short play as well if we break this 39.9 level then there's a good chance that we can come all the way back down to this 32 level but um yeah chewy is a pretty pretty nice setup it's very clear exactly what to do and it has nice targets and it would be a good risk reward ratio um regardless of which direction you want to play this at but um yeah overall uh chewy is a good setup to look out for for the next couple of days weeks but yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.